Hi, it's Joel again. Um, this is my Hot Wheels Ford collection or my loose Ford collection. Um, some of these are extras. Um, some of these or a few came from five packs. Some are designs that I like. Um, some are hot rods, which I really like. But anyway, um, I thought I would go through them. I'll try and be as quick as possible. And uh, at the end, I'll let you know what my favorites are. I'll give you my top, uh, probably my top five favorites. I'll give you at the end of the video. So let's get to it. <clears throat> This is a casting that's been around for a while. This is the 57 T-Bird. Um, the base has a code of 1977, so this has been out um, in this configuration since 1978 because the stamp on the base is copyrighted usually a year before the car is released. So at the earliest 77, but probably 78. So. Uh, what's that? Seven, 40 years. That's uh, 40 years. So that's uh, that's a good run for anything. And my cousin likes it when the stuff falls out, so that's for him, my cousin Bernie. Here's another 57. Um, not a fan of the laced wheels when they make the car look like it's riding on 55s okay uh, or I just like sidewall on the tires I think it looks more authentic when you see more black in the sidewall other than that you know but these types of laced wheels with very little and just looking at like a thin tread yeah. Yeah, but you got to keep in mind, too, it's a toy. If a kid gets this, all they want to do is run it down the track or play with it in the dirt. They're not even paying attention. So, got to keep in mind, it is a kid's toy. Another six, sorry, 57 T-Bird. And also, one of the few vehicles that still sports metal body, metal base, and an opening hood, the Cobra. And this is a body style that has been around since 1992. Okay. Uh, this one here is not from 1992. Uh, I forget when I got this, but um, it's metal on metal, plastic wheels, plastic basic wheels. And I like these old style wheels. <sighs> uh, much newer. 2015 Ford Mustang with a base code of 2016. So I probably got it sometime early last or mid last year. That was probably a first edition. I can't remember off the top of my head. This is a vehicle that was uh, popular with racers. And this is the Ford Thunderbolt with the teardrop hood. And that was so it could accommodate a high-rise intake manifold. Okay, so these were used in drag racing. And uh, just as a car, a race car. This has got really f funny wheels. I thought that these were kind of cool. So, would I own a Thunderbolt or pay for one if I had the choice between a Thunderbolt and, let's say, a Chevy or Oldsmobile Vista Wagon, a Chevy Wagon or an Oldsmobile Vista Wagon? Uh, no, I would not. I would spend the money on the wagon because I could probably buy two wagons for the same amount of money that would cost to buy that Thunderbolt in real life. So, very expensive piece of uh, automobile history. The 
been a long time since I actually um, took these out just to enjoy looking at them. So um, this is sort of like a purplish color, which I never noticed before. I always thought this was like a bluish color, but then I'm partially colorblind. Um, stamp 1980. Looks like a 1980. Can't tell if it's 88 or 80. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't come from 1988 or 80. That came from much later. I believe that came from the Ford 5 pack. Uh, I think this was uh, a Red Line series. Not an original Red Line series, but one that paid homage to the Red Lines. And I think this is stamped a little bit better. I think this is 1988. Okay, and A32, so last year was K, and this is A, and there was no I or O. Oh, you can figure that one out, as far as the age. <coughs> and a Ford F-150. So, this came out in 2010, so this is already seven years old. Eight years old. <clears throat> uh, here we have the Mercury, or uh, yeah, it's a Mercury Cougar. Okay, and yes, these were also used for racing. I believe these were even raced in. Um, what the heck kind of racing was it? Uh, Trans Am racing, which they had for about uh, five, six, seven years in the late 60s, early 70s. So I think that's pretty much dressed up like a Trans Am racer or a stock car. Here we have another Ford truck, and this is a Ford F-150 as well. So, earlier model than the, uh, the first one I showed you. And a camper shell in the back. And this is not removable, as near as I could tell. So, I'm not going to force it. <clears throat> this one is one I've always liked. Um, tea bucket. I mean, that's what the car is. I can't remember if that's also what the name is. Okay, this is like a purplish color. I thought this is kind of neat. And it's like a black chrome or a bluish chrome engine. Dirty Two Ford. So this is a popular hot ride. This... Uh, this almost looks like uh, Milner's car in uh, American Graffiti, with the exception that he had a couple extra windows. His uh, cap area is a little bit different. This is a Ford truck. Snake bed truck is what it is. And this came out of one of those... Uh, I lost a little boulder. This came out of one of those um, sets. Um, just like a little pop-up building. Um, and it came with these boulders. And uh, I just dropped one. So I hope I find it before I vacuum it up. <clears throat> so that was given to me as a gift by my sister. So that's what that is. This is a Ford steak bed truck. Here we have metal on metal again, opening hood. And it's a Ford Mustang. And it looks like the base stamp is 1983, so this came out in 84. 
but again, not this one. This one is probably from a five pack. Here's another Ford F-150, I believe. Yeah, it's a 1997 Ford F-150. Uh, Rusty Pipes Plumbing. I think that was from a five pack of uh, vehicles or trucks, working trucks. I forget the name of the five pack though. Uh, here's a Ford Bronco. Um, this is also from the Ford 5-Pack, and I'm not sure, but I think this color was exclusive to the 5-Pack, and it's got the motorcycle on the back. But I think this one, that year, was exclusive to that Ford 5-Pack. Here is another Mercury Cougar. So... This is a nice car. Cougars are, they're nice. Um, I do like them. <clears throat> well, the first one I showed you was like a race one. Um, this one here is more of a stock one. Here's another one. It's stock. Okay. With the uh, two-tone... I guess that's supposed to represent a black roof. <clears throat> and here we have a Mercury Cyclone. 428 Cobra jet engine. These were used in NASCAR racing. And for the younger people who might watch this someday, Mercury was a division of Ford, just like Lincoln. And they made uh, generally higher-end cars, but when muscle cars became popular, the uh, premium brands of the manufacturers um, <clears throat> also started doing their own muscle. So that's a Mercury muscle car. Here's a Ford Fairlane GT, 1966 or 65, 66 Ford Fairlane GT. I'm doing a little bit better because I got my new glasses. This is from the Flame series. Um, don't know what year. This was from that Ford 5-pack. This is a T-Bird from the 80s or the 90s. And um, metal top, metal base, represents a race card. And it does say Thunderbird. And the wheels, this is more vintage because these are the ultra hot wheels. Another Mercury Cyclone. It's more... This looks more real because of the five spokes than the uh, PR5s on the other one. This is a color changer, the Ford Van. So it doesn't say that on here, but it's a Ford Van. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't tested in changing uh, with uh, the watercolors. Okay. <laughs> Got some good stuff on this side. Got some really neat stuff here. Um, these two cars were... Um, uh, they're based on a Ford, even though they don't say it. Uh, 1993 Mattel. These were uh, Happy Meals cars from McDonald's. Okay. Um, I don't know if these were issued in 93 or 94. Um, but these are pretty much all plastic except for the engine. This was in that Ford 5 pack of trucks. Uh, Pizza on wheels. I don't remember what this one was called. 
maybe the 40s Ford, I can't remember. I believe it was. Forty Ford. Okay, so got that as a uh, dragster truck, and this is what's that? R O B C Zoo, Robo Zoo, R O B O. Um, look like similar colors, but the one with the black wing. It's a little bit darker. And obviously different tampos on the uh, on the doors. Another car based on a Ford, even if it did not say so. And I can't remember what this is called, I'm sorry. Somebody knows, please drop a comment. Mustang Mach 1. I don't know if that's the name, but that's what it is. I don't know the year. This is probably a 69 or a 70. Here's the Ford Mustang GT Concepts. Looks like a uh, copyright base 2003, came out in 2004. It's a 1941 Ford F1 truck. It says El Segundo Speed Shop. El Segundo is where Mattel's headquarters is located, California. Okay, um, I believe this was a first edition in this uh, livery. <clears throat> Ford Focus RS. Ford Torino. Uh, I don't know what year that is, but this is from the Hot Wheels um, racing series from one year. Here's the Ford Shelby GR1 concept. And that looks like a British racing green color. I think it's a little bit too dark. I think the car would look better if it was lighter in color. This is cool. Um, this is a uh, funny car. Um, they all use the same base for their funny cars, it's just the bodies were different. Um, it's a little bit higher end because it does come with a stand in here. I think it came out of a three pack of funny cars or a four pack. But. Um, Obviously based on a Ford, advertising Motocraft, which is their parts. Okay, so this is, this is nice. I've got some more Shelby GTs. Two of them. Uh, Take a guess which one I like best, based on what I said. So this is Shelby Cobra Daytona. The other one doesn't say it on the base, but it, um, same car. Green tint windows, blue tint windows, 
open uh, OH5, and here we have the basic rice book. And if you guessed that this was the one that I liked out of the two, then you guessed right because it has wheels that I like more for this type of car. <clears throat> Here's another funny car. Um, I think this is a Mustang funny car. You know what? I put this in the wrong thing. This is definitely a Plymouth funny car. My bad. It says Plymouth right here. Got mixed up in this by mistake. I will set that one aside. However, this is a Mustang funny car. And this is a damn nice one. Sorry. Darn nice one. This is really nice. It's a lot nicer than I thought. Another Thunderbolt. Oh, no. Custom 64 Galaxy. But it's got that teardrop hood. And it's got a wing. They did not come like that, as far as I know. Or a spoiler, not a wing. I apologize. Oh, wait, Ford Focus. You know, I don't even remember this one at all. This is a body style I like. This was the um, Fat Fendered 40. So I think this would be considered a Ford Tudor. T-U-D-O-R. I think is what they call them. And uh, I think that these are... I just like the body lines on these better. These classic cars. This is a casting. It's a 40 Ford convertible okay how does it compare to the two door now two door has a bumper the 40 Ford does not it's got a more narrow grill but I think Part of that might be cost savings because the grill is supposed to extend out a little bit it looks like because of the lines. This has running boards that extend to the bumper. This does too. The wheel bases look identical. However, the rear ends of the cars are different. The trunk is different on the uh, convertible. However, if it's the same car, well, the taillights are different too. If it had been the same car, I wonder if it would have been a different trunk shape because of the convertible, the chop on the roof. I got this used. Used Hot Wheels. I think this was also a McDonald's uh, car. It's a little bit beat. It's been played with. Somebody obviously enjoyed it for a time uh, before I got it. And this is a stock car uh, based on the Thunderbird. And I think that was a McDonald's thing as well. Happy Meal car. Yeah. Uh, Bought this recently. This is a Ford Bronco. Custom Ford Bronco is what they're calling it from uh, a surf series or a rescue series. I don't know which one. 
Um, these, uh, the wheels are okay. I can see why you'd want to have those knobby wheels on the sand, though. But in any case, I think the car's too light. It's don't have, it doesn't have enough metal. Here's a Ford GT90. I think this is kind of a concept. Okay. Um, but it's metal body, metal base. is kind of cool. Now, on a car like this, I think it's okay to have smaller sidewalls. I just think small sidewalls on an older car looks terrible. This was a first edition, and this is a body style I like for a truck. And the hood tilts for a little bit, but any cars that you see like this now, uh, they're cast shut. And this is a 56 Ford. And I have these in here. These are the same vehicle. Um, this is the Anglia or Ford Anglia panel truck. And this was a European Ford. And these were used for uh, racing. Where in Europe they were used, I am not quite sure. So, so they got the drag chute packs on the back. So that's it for, it's not all the Fords I own, but that is it for the um, ones I have loose for now. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, please get a hold of me. And also, um, you know, I hope you liked the video. If you didn't like it, please let me know why. And um, please subscribe. Um, now, I did promise my top five, which would be in no particular order since I have this side open. This one, just because I like the color, it does look like a Mustang Mach 1, right down to the taillights being all metal okay so that's definitely one I will go with the Ford fat fendered 40 just because of the classic lines The 57 T-Bird. I'm going to go with the Ford truck. And for the grand finale. Grand finale, the grand finale. Again, no particular order. Ford steak bed truck. Something you can actually view something with. So anyway, there you have it. My open Ford collection. Um, again, uh, I hope you liked the video and please subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you.